Another important element of brand expression is the package. Uh, definition is the container used to protect, promote, transport, and identify a product. There are three roles that uh, the package has. Uh, one, duh, is the functional benefit. It needs to protect the product. Um, and typically for consumer package type goods, you'll have a master pack, which is what gets shipped on the container, and then smaller individual packs in there so for distribution to stores, and then inside those individual packs will be um, single service uh, boxes for individual consumption. But the master pack and the inner pack have to protect the product so that the box doesn't look crushed when it goes on the shelf. Um, and there's also, I think I have this in here, um, you need to take into account the way the product is going to be sold and used. So we have, um, have, have you ever seen, um, I should probably bring one of those in, is every once in a while you'll find a, uh, I've seen this with over-the-counter pharmaceuticals where you'll have a box that's a box, but it also has a little flap that pulls up and has a hole in the flap. And the idea with that packaging is that some pharmacists display the product on a shelf. Other pharmacists want to hang it on a hook. So we designed the package so that it can either be displayed on the shelf or hung on a hook, depending on the needs of the pharmacist. Again, the packaging is designed to meet the needs of the retailer. Um, and then uh, post-purchase utility. Uh, there's, there's a product called Altoids. Has anybody ever purchased the product Altoids? Has anybody ever thrown away the box of, that the Altoids came in? One, two, three, that's because you had too many. Um, but they're just too darn useful, aren't they? Um, in fact, I've found that it's sometimes if I need a small box, I'll just buy the Altoids and throw the candy away because it's a lot cheaper than buying a box like that. <laughs> <laughs> but again, the, 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 pro the, the package is not just protection for the product, but the package can provide utility in and of itself. And then the package is also a heuristic. And yeah, this is a cheap package means a cheap product, especially for consumer goods. So this is like the, the first word of advice is always, always, always go full color on your packaging. Um, it's going to cost you a lot more, but the, the perceptual benefits of a well-designed, good-looking package is so much better. Yes, comment. So, uh, so uh, I, I didn't get the name of the store, but without a, a, an endorsement fee, I wouldn't mention. Okay, Lulamon's bag are so good that I use them in other places because it's not because I want people to know that I shop at Lulamon, <laughs> uh, but it's because the bags are just so darn useful. Yeah, yeah, I want to recycle them. Um, but uh, perfume. Okay, many times, uh, 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 for a fine perfume, the bottle, a crystal sculpture, can cost 50 to 100 bucks just for the bottle. Would you buy perfume that came in a plastic container? I would. I mean, not speaking of guy for a, for a girlfriend. <laughs> and, and if a guy did that for a girlfriend, <laughs> there would not be a girlfriend that much longer. <laughs> <laughs> because you should have known better. Yes. Say again. I, I'm, you're, you're too far away. I couldn't hear you. Oh, some people have different preferences for the bottle, but the bottle, that's a good point. But the bottle is the signal, right? A fancy bottle, fancy product. A cheap bottle, cheap product, right? And some people will choose fancy or cheap, but the package is a huge heuristic. It's a huge indicator as, you, you know, you can't judge a book by a cover. You can judge a product by its package. Um, and people do all the time. So it's important that your branding and the, the analog in the online world, again, is the look and feel of your website. If it looks amateurish, people will think that your product or your service or your company is amateurish. If it looks like it's state-of-the-art, then people will assume that the, what you're doing is state-of-the-art. Last low <laughs> role of packaging is uh, communication. 
Um, many times where I've heard that the package is called the silent salesperson. And if you think about that, we talked about the consumer buying process is when it comes down to the evaluate alternatives, you are in the store, have you ever done this, picked up one package, picked up the other package, and decided based on the information that's on the package? Okay, so that package is really your last chance to communicate with the customer, and they're going to be looking at it at the time they're making the decision or evaluating the alternative. So it's important that the package communicates what the customer needs to know in order to complete the purchase at the time they want to purchase it. So there's legal information. It's got to have the brand information. Um, if it's food, it's got to have all that nutrition data on it. And um, there may be uh, independent certifications, grade A eggs, kosher or halal, whatever um, has to be certified by an independent body. And then I lost my slide. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I used to, uh, uh, we get into warranties. I, I, uh, yeah. I didn't get into warranties, did I? Hmm. I must have missed that. Uh, I guess that's coming up.